Hey everyone. This week in news, Karen Lou Sison reported on CUSA dropping the writ of the Student Union Building Referendum. And Gabby Van Luyen took a deeper look into the role of Greek organizations on campus. And Saskia Rodenberg investigated reports of posters for the women's only gym hour being ripped down. And that's this week in news. This week in National, Luke Carroll looked at student groups on campus who were reacting to the results of the American election. And Christine Lee looked at how a basic income program could affect you. All that and more this week in National. Hey Ravens, this week in sports we've got game recaps from the men's and women's hockey games. Michaela Peacock spoke to Andrew Bryan about leaving the nest. All that and more this week in sports. Hey everyone, this week in arts, Matt Yuyutang talked to the director of Sock and Buskins, Macbeth, and Sinclair Bruin checked out the Ottawa LGBT Film Festival. Also online, Karen Lou Sison talked about the importance of diverse stories in our new book blog. All that and more this week in arts. This week in feature, Chantel Backus spoke to experts and students about financial advice in time for Financial Literacy Month. All that and more this week in features. This week in op-ed, Matthew Peltier says there are unexpected benefits to the results of the American election, and Liam McPherson breaks down all the reasons Trump won on the politics blog. All that and more this week in op-ed. This week in multimedia, there's an infographic and news breaking down the timeline of the new student union building progress, and check out what students are saying about the women's only gym hour. All that and more this week in The Charlatan.